morning my friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion coming to you, well, still from Hampton Court. Today we're going to check out the outdoors of Hampton Court. All the mazes, all the gardens, all the grounds, all the flowers, everything. Days with Jordan the Lion, Hampton Court Palace Explorations begins now. Alright, into the formal gardens. That's where we just came out of, the back of the castle. Look, they have a little horse cabana ride. Now that we've done everything on the inside, I plan on pretty much hanging out here for the rest of the day and just chilling. Okay, I highly recommend coming to Hampton Court. If you're coming to London, it's definitely been at the top of probably my favorite things to do since I've been here. And then we have an insanely long pool of water behind this. Like I said, this is 60 acres of property. As far as the eye can see. I just saw this statue over here, so I want to take a look at it. Thank you, Queen Victoria. Now we've wandered into the Privy Gardens. Wowza! Look at all that. Too bad they're doing so much lawn care out here, but I totally understand why. So I don't know for sure, but what I think is I think this is the path that the king would have taken to get on his boat since he traveled so much up and down the Thames. I see the water on the other side of this gate. They have no audio guides for this outdoor section, but that just makes the most sense to me if the water's right there and the castle's right there. See what I'm saying? Just kind of makes sense. They don't let you walk into this one, but you can sure take a look. Wow! Isn't that incredible? Now these are the Orange Quarter Pond Gardens. These were Henry VIII's private ponds when he was alive. The real tennis champion's trophy. Well, let's check out the Royal Chapel. The Chapel Royale. This was built by Cardinal Wolsey.
And that's what it would have looked like to sit in one of the pews here. Let's go check out the Chapel Court Tudor Garden. Oh wow, this is really cool. Oh, that's really cool. This is Elizabeth the first private kitchen. She had it built away from her private apartment so she wasn't disturbed by the sounds and smells of cooking. And it says it was larger than you would expect because she liked exotic foods. Why don't we get some of that exotic food? Since we're here, we should get a meat pie, huh? Steak and ale pie. Beef. Today, dining in a Queen's private dining room is also part of our experience. I mean, honestly, if the food's not good in Hampton Court, where the heck is it gonna be good? All right, first bite. Pretty good. Looks like a lot of people are going in for this experience. It's hearty, to say the least. Hearty and filling. Take a look at this. He's just out here as part of the castle. I don't really know, know why. Now we just came out the same way we went in because they said to get to the maze gardens we have to go through here. I'm wondering if this at one time would have been filled with water. But they said go around here and this will take us to the maze and the magic gardens. I hate to be leaving this part of the castle but I don't have a choice. Holy Christmas. Wow. Ah, oh, it smells so good out here. Oh, God, it smells so good. This is the centerpiece of the garden. Oh, 
looks like she's breastfeeding. I don't get many chances in my life to take in a royal magic maze flower garden. Or at least I haven't so far in my life. God, these are just beautiful, aren't they? Particularly smells amazing over here. Let's move on and see what else the castle has to offer. This section out here is the kitchen garden. So they still grow fruits and vegetables on the property and then they have a sale once a week it says. It says Herefordshire apples. There's another garden on the other side of that brick wall. Some potatoes. Cut through the asparagus here and the cornfield. Here we have our grapes. And if you just feel like hanging out in a park with a tilted chair, you can do that here. Each chair has a different person's history. I thought that was a cool little touch and I've been sitting in one of these for about the last 20 minutes. Let's go check out the maze. Should be straight through there. Now I noticed in their little uh, overview look, it looks like a big triangle. All right. You know, why not? Why not? Why not do a palace maze? Is anybody scared that we won't make it out? Anybody terrified that we won't find our way to the end? Uh, I'm gonna take this way. See what we got here. Hard to do when you're not looking at the overview of it. We all hit a dead end. I'm gonna follow this one. I hear somebody shouting. Somebody must have found it. Did we find it? Should have like a fountain in the middle. No luck yet.
Yeah, David, have you made it? I'm thinking we've circled all the way around it and didn't make it to the middle. Now I'm just taking paths wherever there aren't kids. And you see where that ended me? All right, I just overheard somebody say, you're trying to make it to where we started. So, apparently that's the, oh, there it is. We made it. Now let's go take a look at the gate. Well, we found it. They're pointed away from us, but we found them. Let's go take a look out the front. There we go. Well, that was the real goal for me, getting to this. Yeah, I think this was worth making a second video for. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the second part of our Hampton Court tour. We're gonna call it a night from the gardens of Hampton Court Palace. Have a great night and goodbye.